Okay, I'm going to attempt a tutorial on creating a latch using pre-made VEX parts. Um, these are the parts that I believe I can do this with. I'm doing this very simply. I'm not using any screws or nuts or anything. I'm just attaching them using some different constraints. All of these parts can be found under in the V5 library under the gussets. So if you look under gussets, you'll see everything that we've got here from the um, angle corner gusset and so on. So let me get rid of that. All right, so my idea here is a latch that basically this is going to ride up over this, click, fall down, and then it would catch this on the way back to lock itself. So this is on, basically this is attached to one door, and this is attached to the uh, side. Uh, actually, probably the other way around. Um, so I'm going to rotate this, and this is, you know, this, I'm just trying to show you things here. So if I click on it, I can, this will move it forward and backward. These will rotate it over, and I want to rotate it over kind of about like that, let's say. Click outside there so that I can get it kind of where I need it to be. Okay. Because then I need to constrain that to it. And this is where it gets tricky. Okay, these are your constraints. And if you hover over them, they'll give you a little drop down about what happens with them. Um, this one's for some rotational stuff. This one basically sticks the two sides together. Um, this one makes them parallel and so on. So I'm going to do, I think this will work, a planar mate to start off with. I'm just going to click on this surface and this surface. And let's see what we got here. Okay, so that works. So I got that. You can offset it if I want it to be apart a certain distance. Um, and But I don't. So um, I'm just going to click the check mark there. So now this is attached. Actually, this right here, I want this to stop moving. So I'm going to right-click on it and fix it. And that's like the, the cheating way of keeping things from moving. So now that won't move. So what I want is... I guess about like that. So that it, oh, let me move it back some. Let me move it all the way back here. Uh, in fact, let me come up a little bit, I guess. Let's go like this. So if I have my other thing here, the idea is as it moves forward, it swings up and then falls down and then it can't come out. Um, if I was actually making this in a class, I would probably put some uh, tape over these little notches here so that it moved easier. Okay, and so now you could just fix this right here, but I want to try to um, try to keep it there. So let's see if I do a and and this is I'll be back. Okay, I had to experiment a little bit. So I'm going to do I'm going to use a fasten mate that's going to lock it in there. So I'm going to take this because I need to be able to see the back of it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click Fasten Mate. When I hover over, you see all these little connecting dots. If you hold down the Shift key, hold down the Shift key, because otherwise if I move around, they go away. But once I see them, if I hold down the Shift key, they stay there. And I want to get that center one right here. And then I'm going to rotate around to the back, because this is what's going to mate to it. And I'm going to over over this, hold down the shift key and click on that. And click my check mark and it should work because it worked last time. Okay. So now I've got this here. And this is if I click on it, it won't go anywhere. I'm clicking on it with my mouse and I'm not getting anywhere. Okay. So I've got that there. So now we're going to let's see how to now I want to do this. Let's rotate this around some. Not necessarily that way. <laughs> How about that way? Trying to figure out. Uh, oh, no, no. Yeah, let's go this way. Boom, boom. Let's go like that. Okay. And so uh, this is going to go. You look at it from above to kind of move stuff around here. Kind of 
and line it up. All right, so I've got this. This is going to come out here. And now I need to rotate this around like that. And where right, there's my rotation. Go the other way. Close enough. Okay. Let's bring this out in front. Now again, you would have screws and nuts and bolts and things here to uh, hold it on there, but we're not doing that. So let's reconnect. Thank you. And reconnect again. So let's make sure it's in front. Okay. Click on that, kind of bring it up some. I could get arrow and I just go straight up. And we'll um, I'll put it right here at the top. And then once I do, we'll move it around to get it where we want to go. Okay. So I'm just going to attach this to this right now. So again, I'm going to want to do, this time I'm going to do a cylindrical mate. And so I'm going to come in here and again, hover over it, shift key, click on that. And then rotate around. I don't know which one I want, so I'll just use one I can get to. Shift key, uh, we'll take that one. Okay. Click the check mark and all other things are working. This should now, I would have rotate, but I now need to do a planar mate to make it stick to it. So I click on here, click on here, and south. See if it moves around a little bit. If I click the south button, it puts it up where it's supposed to be, kind of solves the problem. And then I click that. Now, well, let me fix this for a second. And you can see that it can go. Okay, so I need to unfix it so I can orient it properly. Um, I think we try something here. Uh, Let's first, all right, let's look at some things here. You kind of get the idea at this point, I think. I'm going to move it. I think I'm going to try something here. I don't know if this will work or not. If not, I'll. Is a parallel mate between this and the very top of this. I have no idea where that just went. I'm going to click solve, click the check mark, and see if that was totally wrong. Did not seem, I think maybe it did. Oh, what I wanted it to do. Oh, and it did. It lined it up. See how the top of this is now parallel. That's what I wanted. It did what I wanted to do. And so now, let's kind of line that up here a little bit. Everything's off a little bit because this is kind of tricky to do. Oh, I would have to have something holding this here, wouldn't I? Ah, uh, buggers. Wait, let me think about that for a second. Um, I'll be back. I realize I need something, otherwise this is going to fall down. I'm trying to make this so it's actually real. So this bar, which is actually this thing here, which is under structure, not gusset. I forgot this is the one thing that isn't there. I can make it. I only want a really short little guy. I'm going to make it just two inches long. Uh, default material. And this shows you how to bring one in and bring a piece in here, which is nice. The thing is, when it does that, it always brings in, it seems to bring in more than one. It always seems to bring in two, and I don't know why. So I'll get rid of that, and I'll put this one here. And now, that one, you can never tell which one's what, here. And, oh, I could just put it right on there, couldn't I? Yeah, I can just rust it right below it, and that'll keep it from uh, rotating. 
if I do it this way, let's see, if I do a fasten me, hover over, oh, I'm hitting the enter, why am I hitting enter? Shift key, that, and hover over, shift key, that, that's what I want right there. Beautiful. Because now this, okay, this ain't really going to swivel, right, is it? So there's different ways you can do this. This is not going to allow this to, if I fix this, let's see what it does. It does, but it moves over. Okay, so yeah, let's do it properly, right? All right, so I will delete my fastened. Unfix this bad boy. And, oh, and delete. Okay, now this can move. That is this fast. Okay, I delete that fast. Now it can move. Now I can rotate it this way. And I don't know if, how well this will work, but I think it'll it'll be functional. So I am going to fix, I'm going to do a fasten mate close enough for what we're doing here, that to so go right here, here, check it. So, kind of, sort of, okay, you get the idea. I'm not going to belabor this because this is not the best idea. Um, but the idea is that if I line this up, I think I've made my print. And I'm gonna, I am going to fix this again so that I can show that okay, this goes way down, way too far. So, um, yeah, you would need something else right here to stop it. Um, I might bend this out, uh, bend this up. I might do put in a, um, a, a different, I put in, I would put in a different piece. But anyways, that's good enough for showing you some basic information on how to make a latch functional or not. There you go.